Hi guys, welcome back to my channel, or if you're new, welcome. My name is Monica, and today I am way too excited. I actually had like two other videos I was gonna film, but I'm gonna do this video just like real quick and throw it up as a bonus video this week just because I did it. I have finally hit pan on a blush for the first time in my life. <laughs> and it took me almost 10 months. So this is technically an update for my 9pan19 project pan where I'm trying to use up 9 pans of products. I have the whole playlist, I'll throw it up in the cards if you want to kind of binge watch it. I haven't done an update in a long time because I was doing monthly updates but the updates felt the same and repetitive and I was like, I don't want to do an update again until I have something to actually update on. So while I've been making awesome steady progress on the contour palette, the blushes were just stagnant. I started with a three pan blush trio from ABH and I was trying to, my original goal <laughs> back in January was to use them up. And then I was like, well, let me just use one up. And then uh, six months in, I was like, okay, so maybe it, can I just hit pan <laughs> on one of these? <laughs> and then I would be happy that that became my goal because it was just, these blushes lasted forever. So here I'm gonna show you, like you can see in the thumbnail, my little baby blush pan. You can see there are gouges and you can see pan kind of on the outside corners, but that's just from me depotting this from the original packaging. The actual little cute baby pan in the middle is from me using this blush almost every day for almost 10 months. I'm so proud of myself. <laughs> Oh my god, I can't believe I finally did it. I have so much more like respect and knowledge about like how long blushes last, about what blushes like look good on me. I'm so glad I picked a peach blush because I used to be afraid of blush. Like in 2018, I never wore a blush because I was terrified of looking too red. Like because you know everyone promotes the pink blushes, the red blushes, and those look really bad on me. <laughs> they just don't flatter me and my skin tone that well while orange and peachy blushes look awesome on me. Like I just, I had to find out what actually worked for me. So I'm glad I picked a peach blush for this because I was able to wear it every day. And even when I was wearing it every day, it took me until today's date. I hit pan on this this morning. This is September 26th. I'm gonna edit this and throw it up quickly like tonight or tomorrow morning. I don't know, but it took me from January 1st until September 26th <laughs> to hit pan. And it's baby pan. Oh my god, I was just, oh. Yes, so I'm gonna consider that part of this project complete. I cannot believe how much oof, that took out of me. But I'm gonna save my full thoughts on that for the finale for this, which is gonna come at the end of the project in December. Because I am still working on the other shades in here, which do have a lot more progress. So as you can see in this contour palette, I only have two shades left. One is my bronzer shade and one is my contour shade. I've hit significant pan in both of them to the point where I think I'm going to repress the bronzer. I think the contour is fine for now, but I think I'm going to repress the bronzer. I'm on a good track to finish this by the end of the year. I have no worries about it, but I find myself getting bored. Like I want to reach for different contour products and different bronzer products, but I've been reaching for this every day just to make sure like I use it up. So I don't know if I would pan another face palette in 2020, but yeah, I feel like I was getting a bit bored, but I'm not giving up. I'm still working on these and I'm hoping maybe I could even finish them a little early. All right, guys, so that's my update. That's the first blush I've ever hit pan on. Oh my God. Uh, let me know down below if you've hit pan on a blush or even used up a whole blush, what tips worked well for you and how long it took you. Thank you guys for watching and I cannot wait to see you in my next regularly scheduled video. <laughs> Bye.